Alright, there we go. Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's Jabari98 here. Back once again for yet another live stream, baby. Let's go. This is a special one because... Wait a minute, let me turn down the music real quick. And then switch to the game. Yo, guys, this is a very, very special live stream because, as you guys can see, by that special number right right below the uh, the chat, we passed 1,000 subscribers, dude. That is so awesome to me, dude. I, I, I legit, I legit still can't even believe that it happened, like. I mean, I, I knew that, like, if I kept a grind up, that uh, it would eventually happen, but I didn't know it would happen, like, so soon before, like, the uh, the year de deadline, you know? Because I wanted to pass 1,000 subscribers before, uh, before the end of the year. I legit didn't think that I would be able to pass it before the end of October. I thought it would happen, like, somewhere around, like, December. But I really just want to thank you guys so much for the support. Like, I, I really do appreciate it. Um, but every single person that checked out the videos that I uploaded and like commented and just shared their thoughts about everything and just wanted to check out the channel, I, I really do appreciate you guys. I really do. And I'm honestly not sure what, what goal, what reasonable goal to shoot for next. Maybe 2000? Maybe that'll be the next goal. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on it. But yeah, this live stream, I mean, this live stream, we're going to, to be doing the Ethereum Wars event. Uh, this is a permanent, like, uh, conventional memoir event, so I don't have to, I technically don't have to do this event, but I mean, because it's going to be around, like, always. But if I do it within the next 19 days, there's some unique awards you can get. And this one, this is the award that I'm looking out for the most because I'm currently farming a, a quantum set for my Sea Lane Silver Wolf, finally. Like, like my Sil Silver Wolf has a, a quantum set already. But it's not like the best. I need to get them uh, an effect hit rate body. Even though they don't really need it, it would be nice to have. And just some better uh, uh, head, gloves, and boots in general. Though now I think about it, all three of them got effect hit rate on them. That's all she really needs. But Basile. This is the one that I'm farming uh, quantum pieces for, actually, because. Like, this Musketeer of Wild Wheat set that I have on her, like, it's fine. But I feel like I'm starting to get to a point in the game where, like, it's damage just, like, it isn't enough. Like, it, it's time to actually farm for her best in slot and, uh, and just beef up her numbers. So, yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. I think I gave her Link Rope to somebody else, actually. Yeah, I gave it to, uh, Don Hong. I think because I did fight some wind weak enemies, I think. But yeah, I definitely am just farming some quantum, uh, farming the quantum set for her at the moment. And hopefully. Okay, cool. I don't have to go too far out of my way to do it for the, uh, for the dailies this week. So that's cool. Wait a minute, was one of the things, uh, 
to bring along the support character? I think it was. No, it was not. Alright, go. More business, eh? You won't get away. Done. And what's next? Synthesize. Let's just do this thing. Technique. Will of preservation. A little something for everyone. Done. And one, two, three. It's ultimate to deal final blow. Okay, so we can do that while farming the quantum set, hopefully. What's the team I bring along for this one? Nah, it wasn't this one. Cause uh, I feel like uh, I don't have a team that like consistently. What am I trying to say here? Uh, I need a team that can better that can better auto battle this uh this domain what's this Himiko stats like okay okay all right I'm sold I mean unless there's a blade somewhere deep in here no there is not So you go. I can't wait till uh, Guinevere comes out so I can uh, raise her up so they can have um, burn DOTs for my uh, my DOT comps. It's gonna be so fire, bro. Metaphorically and literally. Plus, I'll be able to get copies for her. To put my customers while I'm going to I charge cards, extra. So hopefully I can knock out two birds with one stone. Get at least one copy of each. She didn't use a skill though. Business, eh?
you won't get away. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Lance ablaze. Lance power. Plus ult skill. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. There we go. So there's that daily done. Let's go ahead and control this. Attack with hit hitter if I can't break. I'm gonna be decent on my uh my silver wolf. Ouch. Preservation and healer are on the left side, but not a scratch. Come on. That is some slack. <laughs> you won't get away. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Bye bye. You don't look so good. Huh? Right there. It's time. Yo, Epic Squishy, what's going on, bro? <laughs> Just having fun. Let me turn your right There we go. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. What did your prescription? Nice teamwork. <laughs> Lance ablaze. And, uh, light this up. Power. Break that uh... More business eh? a little bit. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers. Extra DOTs right here. I charge extra. You won't get away. Sagacious discernment. See if I can change up my team. See, the reason why I'm not using a Kafka team is because I feel like this team's a bit too fragile when going up against that domain. A lot, of, a lot of my characters are prone to dying, but it also clears the dom domain the domain to faster. So let me see what accommodations I can make here. Well, let me see. So there are Luocha in the rotation. Yes, there is. So what I can do is I can do um Damn, what was it about what, what was it I was about to do? I completely lost my thought. <laughs> um Yeah, I guess I could bring some all. And then attach the Luocha here. Hold on, which one's better? Yo, Jonathan Gao, what's up, dude? Hello, I saw your Kafka video a while back and I liked it a lot. I hope you continue to great, create great content and, ha and have fun doing it. Also, I'm your 9 909. Yo, that's epic, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> you were part. You were part of the um, of the legend, bro. 
you, you helped this happen. I really appreciate it, dude. <laughs> You were my 900th 99th subscriber. That's crazy, dude. Jonathan Gao, the legend. Let me screenshot that. Gotta post that on the wall somewhere. That's crazy, dude. Alright, so Luocha. About 5,000 here. 7 off 5,000. Dang. That is definitely at 5,000. No Adelons versus this one. No Adelons. One twenty six B versus one twenty four. Eh, I'll go. I'll take this one. It's got more HP. And Sir Ball, do I got the right stuff on you? Alright, let me load this up so you're not getting like one shot at or nothing. There we go. All right, let's do it. I owe you one. Keep up. We're just having fun. <laughs> what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? All the deals. I charge extra. Cut in the net. I'll break you too. <laughs> let's settle this. <laughs> Stand still. It's free real estate. <laughs> Done. I love DLT so much in this game, dude. <laughs> it's so cool. I just seeing him just like. We're just having fun. Okay. My Saval is, is, is made out of a. Uh, uh, paper. She has like paper skin on this team. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, let me see. Let me just level this up a little bit more. Auto effect hit rate. Switch her weapon for a bit more HP on that too. As far as attack wheel goes, I'll give her Hema goes. All right, let's go. All right, let's run it back. Out. Receive divinity. I owe you one. This song's for you. Turn it up. We're just having fun. Look. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Cut in the net. Let's settle this. Relax. Not bad. Uh, stupid. Keep up. You can fight it or rock with it. And wow, everybody died from that. And some balls there. This show must go up. We're just having fun. Okay, so I killed that first wave too fast, I guess. Do I actually have to eat some food? Do I actually have to do that?
Because this is a, this is actually ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> rip. I, I know, right? It's like my Soval is like made out of glass for some reason. She doesn't hit that hard. She does not hit that hard to justify being able to get folded like that. Guess an attack buff would be nice. I thought I had an item that would uh, increase the max HP of everybody. Well, I thought I did, but apparently I don't. Okay, let's just run it back, but just play smarter. I just remembered, Roach's scale is off of attack, so I need to switch one of these to have more attack. Yeah, I should be using this one. Right, right. <coughs> Nothing major. Out. Boom. I owe you one. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. We're just okay, having this fun. This time we're going through it. Right? Wonder why he didn't get burst that time. Let's settle this. <laughs> Stand still. Hey, what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> Time for the let's rock. More business, eh? He's dead too. Let's heal up Saval. Receive divinity. <sighs> Ready to jam. Pull this down. Let's go. Let's go ahead and let this roll. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Fall rock with it. <laughs> We're just having fun. Sambo. Good times. Never. Kafka, let, time to say goodbye. Boom. You. Ha. Stand still. Pretty good crowd today. This. What are you waiting for? Hits to betray my customers? I charge extra. May as well kill them all. I'll see you off. Alright, <laughs> Relax. Bye. Well, I got three this time. And it's all trash. Alright, run it back. That's it. Nothing major. Ready to lose your son? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Stand still. More business, eh? <laughs> Same good times. Time goodbye. to say goodbye. Boom. Eh, skill point the open door. Save that. I think so is dead. Receive divinity. Oh god. Oh, thank Ready god. to jam. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I thought she was gonna die there. I forgot uh about Luocha's like auto heal thing. Who are you farming for? Um right now I'm farming quantum pieces for my C Late and Silver Wolf. Um I, I had like substitute pieces on them already for a while, but I think now it's time for an upgrade. You can fight it. So I don't think my CLA's damage is keeping fun. up with what the game is is uh, throwing at me right now. For? To betray my customers. Gotta get ahead of this stuff. situation. May as well kill them all. Let's settle this. Uh, let's heal up you. I owe you one. Repay. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Relax. More business, eh? <laughs> Say bye to breathing. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have used the skill point there. Dang. I was not paying attention. <laughs> that sucks. Time to say bye. Boom. You chose the wrong enemy. Stand still. 
Uh, do you play Chicha? Nah, I don't have her built up, but I do want to build her up eventually, though. She's cool. But she's really good. Like, maybe once I get, like, a couple more, uh, Adelons on her. Like, if I get her to E4, I'll build her, I'll build her up. She's, she's, like, super cool, dude. Not Ready major. to lose your skin? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Relax. We're just having fun. Huh? May as well kill uh, them all. As far as what I've pre-farmed, um... I farmed up for um, Topaz and Guinevere, so I'll be able to just level them up. Hopefully, be able to level them up as soon as they come out. Stand still. So that's good. As far as relic sets go, I have the uh, fire a fire set for them, but it's kind of trash, to be honest. More business, eh? Ready to lose yourself? I would have used his first if I knew that was gonna happen. You can fight it or rock with it. Turn it up. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I? Yeah. Receive divinity. Let me do this. I know you. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? There go. I charge extra. And now, Good and time. now let this rip. Time Let's, to go, save baby. Let's go. Let's go. You're all done. We're just having fun. Relax. Sagacious discernment. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. You chose the wrong enemy. Uh, let's see. Space Stand still. We're just having fun. <laughs> She's dead even here. Is, to is Topaz comparable to the other go to DPS characters? Um, her numbers haven't come out yet, so I, and I'm not like a, a leaker or anything like that, so I can't, or so I can't say anything for certain. What I will say is, is that she is a, like her entire kit is like a massive, massive buff for uh, any characters that you have that have like follow-up attacks in their kit. So Himiko, Clara, Fox 7, all of them, they love Topaz, like a lot. I think what Kafka does for DOT teams, Topaz is gonna do for uh for like characters with follow-up attacks like them. Relax. More business, eh? So I, I I I have a feeling she's gonna be like that, like maybe like goaded in like her own way, like Kafka was. May as well kill him. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> Let's settle this. <laughs> Alright, these guys Stand are done. <laughs> Nothing major. Out. Boom. <sighs> Ready to jam. Cool. Eternal sleep. The dead return! That ult is so cool, dude. Keep up. Get shock on all these guys. You can fight it. Or rock with it. Only Topaz herself with fast AF build could utilize her own advanced forwards. Yeah, she actually has an, an um, her kit was actually posted on um, on Twitter by the official Honkai um, account. She actually has an advanced forward built Can we into bring her out kit. The big I think. Guns already? Wait, was it her or Guinevere that has an advanced forward? It's like one of their traces, I think. It's one of them. But yeah, uh, she buffs follow-up attacks, so she's very good with like Clara and Himiko and stuff, which is why I hope hopefully I can get her as well. Because she looks like very cool. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. The buns and thighs are nice as well. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Right. Let's settle this. 1k, baby. Is that DOT? Oh, look at that 62k chunk, baby. Let's go. We're just having fun. And she got Alright, nothing. Nothing game changing. 
from that, but maybe that attack body is probably very good for my uh for my silver wolf. Better than nothing. Alright. Let's just hope and pray for a good uh fourth stat. Attack? Eh, I'll take it. I have her on um uh, the sprint the sprightly bonwalk, whatever. So she kinda has an advance forward, so she doesn't need that much speed. Let's go ahead and load this up. Ooh, that's nice. Um, with our first ascension passive, basic attacks are now considered follow-up attacks. Could have just been on the initial base kit. Yep. But it, it's just so cheap, especially for a character who specializes on follow-up attacks. Therefore, they could have put another quality of life ascension passive for her topaz. Uh, that passive is like extremely goaded. And yo, Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan, bro, that 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 that's literally been the trend, like that since the day Honkai Star Rail has came out, like. Honkai Star Rail devs over Genshin devs. Like, oh, holy crap, dude. It's actually insane at this point. But, um... Therefore, they could have put another quality of life ascension passive for her. Um, I mean... That passive is actually pretty... It's still pretty good for Topaz, actually. Because... I mean, just think about um, the Elation Path in um, Simulated Universe. It has so many effects that trigger on follow-up attacks, so... And being able to do all of that off of a off just a just a basic attack is kind of crazy for her. That's actually insane. She's gonna be doing a whole bunch of damage once she comes out in with the elation path. Also, why am I manually adding all this? Just get this to fifteen. Uh, I don't think I got a full set for my Sila yet. So, still gonna have to do a bit of farming. Hopefully I can get, I can either get a, oh, oh, oh. This, um, this headpiece is goaded though. This headpiece is actually insane. I'm so happy I got this one. Um, but as far as the glove goes and the body piece, I'm still farming for a better piece for her. Um, because I have these both of these speed shoes, but they're not like the best. I mean, this one's not bad, but hopefully I can get like a uh, a different set of four, you know, like a better set of four for like the substats, and hopefully I can get a better attack or maybe a crit rate um body piece. But yeah. I just hope that her follow-ups don't get stunned like Lightning Lord does. Um I heard from Yeah yeah, because that's a thing with uh with Jinglu, genuine, because if he's stunned, the Lightning Lord is considered inactive. That's a good question actually. That's a that's a very good uh concern to have. I mean, if that is the case, all the more reason to have a character that can clear statuses, right? Because I hear all the time from uh, genuine players that when he gets stunned, like, 
crowd controlled right before his follow-up attack goes off, it sucks. It's a lot of DPS loss. Give me almost at 30, baby. Uh, which weapon should I get this time? You know what, I think I'll just get this peaceful day one again. Eh, whatever. Uh, but hey guys, how are your? Th I need to ask you guys, if you have, uh, uh, Jing Lu, what are your thoughts on her so far? Okay, let me go ahead and warp on out of here. Because me personally, she is absolutely crazy, but I feel like I'm slowly but surely, like, well, let me just show you guys. I have, like, 2.3k attack on her, 141 speed, 158 crit damage, and not that much crit rate because of her <laughs> passive that, get, get, that gives her, like, 50 crit rate when she goes into her, Danger. um her thing so she really has like 80 86 crit rate an absolutely insane crit ratio right here um but i don't know if it's just me but i've been running into situations where i don't know it's like she sometimes just doesn't hit hard enough i mean she hits hard but it's like sometimes it's like sometimes she sometimes like barely misses out on kills sometimes and it's kind of weird like i feel like i really want to get her e1 especially because i feel like her dps falls off a lot without it in single target scenarios i mean like in mob fight she she goes stupid but like in single target it, it, you definitely notice like a like like a difference in her damage and I feel like that gives her E1 like a lot of value, at least for me. Bro, I want her so badly. I'm broke on Jade's. Bro, bro, I, I, I feel your pain, bro. Yo, I'm so broke on um, on Primo Gems and Genshin right now. So I am absolutely screwed once Farina comes out. Like I don't know if I'll be able to get her, cause unless I get like super lucky, because like. I'm so I'm so low on Primo Gems and, and Genshin right now because I haven't been uh because I because I took that long break from the game so I didn't farm that many uh free Primo Gems from the uh, game's content. Just gonna have to leave it up to God for that one. Uh, but the second reason I feel like my Jinglu's damage is low is because I realized uh. The destruction light cone options, if you're not like free to, if you're not like free to play, like if you're like free to play or like low spender, are like kind of trash. <laughs> um, cause let's look, cause let's look through them real quick. Uh, data bank. Yeah, right here. So this is the one that I have on my Jinglu. It's, it, it was literally the best option that I had. Uh, under the blue sky. Increases the wearer's attack by 16% and when the wearer defeats an enemy, the wearer's crit rate increases by 12. So when she gets a kill, her crit rate during her like enhanced state is basically 100. Like, like it, it's like 98, but like, come on, it's like, it, it, it's basically 100. Which is good. It, it's literally the best uh, option that I had. But... This one doesn't work with her because uh, it on, it only um, it's at its best when enemies are afflicted with burn or bleed. 
this one's attack buff is only like one stack, right? What's the maximum stack of uh, mischievous you can have? Because I think it was like something like two or three. It's not much, or so I've heard. And this one, I don't even—I don't even have this light cone. But even if I did, I wouldn't use it on her because it, the second half of its passive is like very dependent on like HP scaling, and usually it's her teammates losing HP, not not her. So she doesn't get a lot of benefit from like the the second half of this light cone's passive. Like this one would be a good free-to-play option for uh for Blade. Especially at, at uh, S5. But this ain't for blades, so it kind of sucks. It's three stacks. It, it's three stacks, if you recall correctly. Alright, cool. It's her next best light cone to her signature. Yeah, this light cone. That, that's what I actually saw on um, the period in website, actually. They capped it, and like this was like the best light cone for her if you don't have her signature. But yeah, besides that, like a lot of the like really good um, light cones are the, are the five star ones for her. So it's like, dang, <laughs> because to me, I don't know if anyone's uh, is like this, but to me personally, uh, I prioritize uh, new characters over. Um, I prioritize new characters over new weapons, but like it really feels like her damage is like really lacking unless I get her E1 or get her light cone, like a signature light cone. Like this light cone is actually insane. Like, th this is just so much, a free 20. 20% crit damage. Three stacks of of like 14% attack. Oh no no, it's not even attack, it's just flat damage bonus. 14 stacks like three stacks of a base 14% damage bonus at S1. And a defense shred. Like that's crazy, dude. But it's like ugh. So that's why I'm actually, yeah, Jonathan beat me to it. Um, that's actually why I'm actually um, saving up to get this this uh, thing from the herder shop because I feel like I have no other better option. Like, I just gotta get this and then just grind, grind, grind to save up to uh, S5. It is what it is. Because I have uh, 82, 82 and uh decent amount of uh, Stellar Jades here, but for like a 10 pole and a half, I think. What the? No. What pity am I on? I'm at four pity. Yeah, so very high likelihood that I don't, that I wouldn't get her E1 if I pulled on this banner. It's because there's a chance I could get pity broken. So, yeah. And I just don't feel like pulling for light cones just yet. Like maybe once uh, I get like later, once it's like been like a full year, and to the game's like lifespan, maybe I'll start pulling the light cones, but not right now. Oh yeah, what's in the mail? Web event. Yeah, I... I'll do that later. Alright, it's getting late where I live, gotta dip. Hope you have a great time streaming. Hey, take... Hey, I hope you have a good night, Jonathan. Take care, bro. What else do I gotta do this week? Right, let me do 10 of these. 
All right, so after this, I'm going to do um, the Ethereum War event. Let's get that self-modeling resin. Yeah, I got to make sure to knock these out before the end of the week. Uh, but yeah, I think before I can do that, I got to do this quest with like March 7th. So yeah, I think in addition to an event, you guys get a uh, quest playthrough of this stream. So that's cool. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen during this quest. It's the first time reaction. But yeah, let's see what happens. Let's go. Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penacony. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? So this to autoplay. There we go. Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Yo, what's up, Gargadool? Uh... Man, I did that event within two days. Lamau. Silverman Guard Cannoneer. Okay, okay, that's good. It doesn't take too long. Look at Branya, bro. She's always sending these pictures and stuff. Get this message. Yo, what's up? So it's a festival. I'd like to invite you to the Soul Warm Festival. Sure thing. Let go. Has at Don Hung been busy these days? He hasn't sent any messages. Quiet type. Uh, Don Hung. He can't just ignore Branya. Let's go to his room and talk to him. My guy, the loner. Is this a letter? Oh, what's this? Letter quietly fly lies on the table. Judging from its texture and style, it's from the Siang Show paper the names of the sender only with a faint trace of dim ink Old letter ink immediately becomes invisible a letter of unknown origin i have learned of your return to your home how you upended the ancient seas and saved the world from danger I'm sure this has recovered your forgotten memories in accordance with our old vow, we should once again roam our lands of past, drink in celebration to recount our, our great adventures. What? Upend the ancient sea and return to old ground. It's a letter for Don Hung, but who is it from? I should ask the conductor. Vita Infinita. Hold up, which quest is that for? Yo, Patty Patty Mayonnaise. Ooh, that sounds good. I like I like mayonnaise on my uh on my uh hamburgers, bro. Adds a nice bit of creaminess to it. Uh thank you for the subscription, bro. Thank you so much. Uh let's see. Let's just go ahead and continue this one. Let's go. Patty mayonnaise. What what do you guys like on your hamburgers, bro? If you do eat them. Me personally, I like uh, ketchup, mayo, 
bacon, lettuce, like a nice, like crispy lettuce, some uh, grilled onions, some jalapenos too, some cheese. That's a banging burger. Like if you get that joint uh, made for you from like, uh, I don't know if you guys have a fast food joint like this, but uh, Five Guys. That's that's the burger I get from Five Guys. That that joint be hitting it every single time. Ronya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yes, I saw it. Then why didn't you say anything, bro? Why didn't you reply? Ronya's a good friend of ours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind since the Law Fu. It was uh, tough on the spirit. Uh, I get you, bro. Sometimes you just don't let talk. I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too pushy. You're right. You went through a lot on the Sienjo. Take all the time you need. Yeah, it's just let him stay on the express. Uh, thank you for understanding. It's great that Bellabog is able to host the celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Say hi to our friends for me. Okay. Rest up. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. <sighs> I'll be there next time. Uh, he won't budge, huh? Looks like it's just the two of us then. Oh, pity. He's gonna miss out. We never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. I know, but it's still a shame, don't you think? Oh, if only Himeko could come with us. Mm, maybe not. He's still wheezing from the trouble we got into on the Sienjo. You didn't notice? At his age, he might not appreciate the extra... Mm, excitement. Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? She might be up for an adventure. You've been on the express for a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Well, now's your chance! Alright, cool. Ketchup and mayonnaise, not gonna lie. Yeah, nice and simple, nice and clean. I wonder if Himeko is gonna come with us um, on the next world that we go to. Like, we got welts during the Sian show. Might be uh, Himeko's time to shine. Also, did I just walk right past her? Oh, she's in her room. But I thought her room wasn't open. Oh, she's outside of her room. Okay. Hey, Marge. That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? Oh, uh, Himeko! There's a celebration coming up on your Rillo 6, organized by the Supreme Guardian, and we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up, so want to come with us? I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Y'all, I was just looking on Twitter. It's time. It's time once again, bro. Special program announcement. Genshin Impact, baby. Let's go. Uh, what day is it? October 27th, so two days. 8, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so guys, just letting y'all know, I'm gonna be streaming 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna be watching this special program. Y'all already know what time it is. Let's go. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. It's arena time, baby. <laughs> Thanks for the invite, but I'm afraid my hands are full right now. Please send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save Yorilla 6 after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Ah, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. 
Come and find me when you're ready to set off. All right, let go. Wait, is this her? Yo, it's her skin. Yo, that's that outfit is so, fire, bro. What do you think about my new dress? <laughs> Pretty neat, right? Very fancy. It's been sitting in my wardrobe collecting dust for far she got too a little long. Tiara too. Now I finally got the fire, to bro. wear it. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit, are you? I feel like I have to. Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. Wait a minute. As long as one of us is making an effort. Hey, y'all. Uh, crazy theory that just in that just entered into my mind, right? So I so I gotta spit it out, right? Do y'all see the Trailblazer's back, right? Doesn't this kind of look? It, unless I'm crazy, see how like the 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 four lights in the front in the circle. Now, if you look at the back of this jacket from like a distance, bro, am I crazy, or does the or does her jacket look like the front of a train? Am I? I I can't be going. I can't be crazy. This looks like the front of a train. See, this is just adding up to my theory that, uh, this is my personal theory. Uh, let me, let me just go ahead and cut through, go through the rest of this cutscene, then I'll, then I'll say more. Oh, that was it. Okay, so guys, look. Let me turn on this camera. Turn around. Oh my goodness. Zoom in. Is that really as close as I can get? Bro. On God, the back of her jacket looks like the front of a train, bro. Bro, it's like, bro, now that I see it... Now that I see it, I can't unsee it. This just leads... Uh, maybe I'm crazy for this. But this just leads into like my personal like headcanon theory. Maybe it's correct, maybe it's not, I don't know. So Kafka, like during like the uh Cien Show the uh Cien Show fiasco, right? She mentioned something about how there's like three ways to like kill an Aeon, right? She didn't mention the third way to kill an Aeon. I think the third way to kill an Aeon is to remove is to strip them of their Aeon hood and turn them back into what they were originally. And I think the Trailblazer is Akaveli. Like stripped of their power. Maybe Akaveli didn't die, but was just turned into the Trailblazer. That's my that's my crazy theory. Because bro, like bro, it the back of her jacket looks like the front of the train, bro. It's like, now that I see it, I can't unsee it. <laughs> I can't be crazy. Pajamas, hot water bottle, pom-pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go. Wow, that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? Bro, my relics all have speed attributes, bro. Other people might fall for that, but I won't. I was just taking a look at Mr. Yang's records, and it seems like your Rillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. It's much warmer than it was on our first trip there. I wouldn't call it livable just yet, but things are looking up. So kind of like a Nahida so situation? Yeah, I think so. Ready to go? Yeah, I legit think it's like a Nahida situation, bro. Like, I think the Trailblazer is Akaveli. Like, the, uh, the Trailblazer... The Trailblazer Aeon just turned back into a human. 
because that's the third way you can kill an Aeon. That's I, I really do believe that now. <laughs> Bellabog, here we come. Oh, there she go. There go Nomi. <laughs> Seven hundred years. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. All right, cool. Oh, Burr, how do people living in all this snow celebrate anything? Oh, one thing's for sure, though, where there's a celebration. Oh, wait a sec. That person over there. That doesn't look like a Silvermane Guard uniform. All in black. Surely they're not... IPC? On this world? Am I going crazy? What an ugly uniform. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That, that uniform looked like trash, bro. You think so? I actually think it's pretty snazzy. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, what are the IPC doing here on Urillo 6? Hmm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. Hi, do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? straight silence. Uh... Is he like a robot or something? Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take him out? Over. Uh, to take us out? Take them out? Uh, just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Bro, we literally just walked up and asked a question. Just chill, bro. Glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Topaz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Urella 6 for a special business assignment. You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People skills aren't his strong suit. Please don't take it to heart. Oh, you! You scared the life out of me! We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflicts. Last of Us intro be like... Oh, that... Eh, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. I kind of see it. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it? And this is my friend and fellow passenger. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. I heard that Urillo 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron's shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't. That's us. Huh? Jeez, can you be a little more humble? Hey! <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. Must be your lucky day, huh, Numby? <laughs> wow, Miss Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express crews. Aside from the business, I guess. Oh, Branya moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect, but I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here on Urillo 6, to meet with her. All right, cool. Uh, Miss Marge, you said you were on your way to Bellabog festivities, right? 
my apologies for delaying you both. Don't All right, be she's definitely it's here for like a different a rush. reason. Want to come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. I don't usually respond during work hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. Oh, now she's bragging. What? I'm in charge of a project worth 8 billion credits, by the way. What? Teach me how to get rich? <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. Uh, anyway, I'd better be on my way. See you next time. The universe is huge! Yet, we somehow stumbled onto the same path. <laughs> Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? <laughs> Come on, let's head into the city. Alright, let's go. so festive here Dial Oh my god choice overload decision overload uh let's go here first oh my god She's teaching the kids again. Next, I'll be introducing the history of the museum. Everyone listen carefully, okay? Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. Oh, so hungry. I wish you could have a red sunset salmon right now. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand, and also... <gasps> Guess what? I heard there's gonna be a Silver Mane Adventure Camp opening in the Overworld soon. It's gonna be super awesome! Also, those who sacrificed their lives in the war against the invaders 700 years ago. Miss right, Payla, cool. Peter is falling asleep. Enough. From now on, no whispering aloud. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Sorry, Miss Payla. These kids are so lucky for you even getting the option. That's better. Well, I never knew Payla had a strict side. When I was in school, you got homework no matter what, bro. Okay, kids. Now listening time. only determined whether how easy of a time you were gonna have to get it done. Extra, extra. All right, what stuff you got, bro? Nothing new. Thank God. Lego. Hold yeah. on a sec. Isn't that Wallace up ahead? It looks like he's finally made some friends. I wonder what they're talking about. Absolutely nothing. Robert, uh, why don't you tell everyone how you were released from jail so quickly? Selling cultural relics and impersonating Silvermane guards are both heinous crimes. Well, it was all thanks to my uncle, you know. Ah, I remember. Your uncle is Minister Knoll. He heads up the Department of Transportation, no? 
<coughs> uh, yes, you, you knew that too. <laughs> You're shameless, Norbert. Not to be rude, but if I were thrown in jail, I wouldn't possibly ask my father to bail me out. Do you think I wanted to? I'm not the type of person to abuse my status. Yeah, I... Well, I don't really know about that. Get off my back, will you? I had to deal with hardened criminals in jail. Now that I'm free, my supposed friends are ganging up on me. Looks like things are getting heated. Don't worry, Bo. You'll find friends one day. Or not. I don't really care. Hey, that goes so ball, baby. Let's go. Beats will shake me. So rules can't break me. Crank the sound and let your soul be free. Taking a stroll could be so tiring. Say, I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. That was so nice, bro. Or we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. <laughs> Your call. Let's check out the other things that I missed. Wasn't there like two other things here? Did I miss some? So Oh yeah, yeah, here, here, here go Trapar, baby, let go. The Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be mystery guests attending the Soul Warm celebrations, but I didn't think it'd be the Express crew. I hope you had a smooth journey. I should have dispatched Silvermane guards to welcome you on arrival. My apologies. Alright, I think I missed out on those other two events because... Dang, I didn't know that. I didn't know those two events were like... If I had known that, I wouldn't have talked to, to Wallace at all, bro. Heartbeats will sh there we go. They're singing again. Alright, where we gotta go next? You know what I mean. Let's go ahead and chat with Bron, your baby, Lego. And Topaz is already here. I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Oh, she's here to collect debt. <laughs> oh, it looks like we have some visitors. She's a tax collector. She's yeah. acting like a tax collector and right now. Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Urela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. <sighs> You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are... cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. She's like, hey, yo, I know you, you and your people just got over an apocalypse, but, uh... Is everything all right, Bronya? Bills are due. 
I didn't know Miss Topaz was so... intense. She seemed nice when we met her. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I'd planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed? She claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Solworm Festival. What exactly did she say? Uh, since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago, how the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Wow. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. So in other words, they played a large part into how Bellabog was even able to survive in the first place. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, Less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. Because of the Stellaron crisis, obviously, yeah. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage, and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. But as soon as the crisis is resolved, they show up like, hey, yo, pay up. That's crazy, dude. And plus, didn't the crisis last like a good, like, 700 or so years? Or something like that? Like, yeah, it lasted like a good seven or 700 or so years, so it's like, bro. And, and it only just got resolved. Like, why, why are they showing up now? At least y'all could have at least given her, given Bellabog like another like hundred years or so. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. Oh God, that interest. If it's been like centuries. Like literal centuries since the since the loan was taken out, and nothing, and obviously nothing was paid on that bill since then. The interest on that on that loan is actually insane right now. So, yeah, how much is An owed? Astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed. The IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog, not extort it. I doubt the Bellabogians can do anything about this right. on their own. We need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is too big and powerful. 
Even if Branya steps in, it'll be hard for her to resolve the situation. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... Now... I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. <laughs> yeah, after all, this girl here is a pretty good negotiator. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Look, I'm not saying, like... Because here's my here's my situation on this, right? Here's my perspective on this, look. I'm... One... I'm honestly shocked that they didn't just straight up keep the thing cancelled after the crisis, like, came to Bellabog, right? Like, why is it, like, now, like, as soon as the crisis is resolved, that they just showed up, like, hey, yo, pay this loan. Hmm. But second, it's like, even if, like, I, I completely understand that, like, you know, loans must be paid back, you know, that's how, you know, trust systems work across, like, different societies and stuff like that. But, like, bro, bro, bro. The crisis just ended, bro. It literally just ended. What? It, like, they have, the, like, Bellabog itself hasn't even started, like, like, actually recovering. Like, the, the vast majority of this planet is still covered in ice. <laughs> why, why are you, like, showing up now to collect the debt? Like, at least give, like, another hundred years or so until, like, revenue to actually, until Bellabog actually like, grows enough to actually generate enough revenue to pay that debt in a reasonable fashion. I don't know man, sometimes you just gotta know when to consider it a lost cause, a lost cause, and just let things slide. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't be a good fit for the financial world because I have a heart of, a heart of gold when it comes to having empathy for other people's situations, but like, I don't know man. Oh uh, hey! I just remembered! Topaz gave me her number! We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. All right, let's go. Okay, got it. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. Okay. Let go. I got IP, IPC stationed at the corner already. She's just anal I bet Topaz is in here just analyzing, saying, oh, oh, oh. So you guys have this much history, huh? Well, based on this, maybe you guys be able to pay, you know, be able to handle this much of a rate or something like that. Also, oh, so this is the image that I've been seeing plastered all over my, uh, my, my timeline on Twitter. I understand now. Look, I absolutely 100,000% understand now. No comment. If you know, you know. Oh, it's you two again. 
This is the third time today we've run into each other. Cherish the Why, moment. Of course I will. <laughs> Meeting friends from the Astral Express is always a moment worth cherishing. What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's, no, several generations' hardships. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> you flatter me. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. I suppose what I'm trying to say is what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. Uh, sorry for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. Oh? A collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. This way. Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. But, with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh, uh, help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. Oh my god. The Express will pay off Bellabox's outstanding de debts. Oh my god. I don't think we can, bro. We want to ask for a favor on behalf of Branya. I see. I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabox. I appreciate each case has its difficulties, but if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. And if the debt can't be repaid? The strategic investment department is well versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions, but Urillo 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I propose to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let's keep moving. Uh, so you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debts. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. Uh, I'm not sure it's as poetic as the- <gasps> Wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? It's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? It's probably extinct. <sighs> I suppose it probably is. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on display here. That's such a shame. I absolutely adore little animals. Have you guys met Numbi yet? I guess they're off playing somewhere. The Lannister so, always Topaz, pay their debts. <laughs> what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? They can't go easier. Invested so they won't much go easier. That's the problem. Better. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? 
We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya... Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Oh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye! Oh my god. Negotiations failed. <laughs> so, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. Well, yeah, but she'll be really disappointed. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. <sighs> All these vested interests. It's so hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. <sighs> oh, wait, did I even go to school? Did someone send you a message? Oh, it's Sile. What up? Roger, you're back in Bellabar. Give me a shot when you have a minute. It's urgent. What? Oh my god. They're already scrapping. Oh my lord. Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Seriously, Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute. Let's go oh, save the Jen. day. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Oh, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. Hey, so once this quest is done, can we change March 7th's outfit to that skin? Because that oh, skin is fire. Is that a stain? I like this coat. Zila! Hey! Am I glad to see you two here? I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Is Topaz around? Who? We were just talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? The person you're talking about, are they in charge of the people in black? Yep. Potaz, Pasto, whatever her name is, she can wait. 
Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the Great Mine. Are you two with me? Hey, you two! Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way! You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? I'm a guest of your boss. Stand aside. Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Uh, so it's you! You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains! Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Bruh. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Sh shut up! I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? Jesus Christ. <sighs> IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Alright, let's go. No more talking, bro. We're done with this. Performance points. So what's this? Each stack increases damage by 50%. Stacking up to... Oh, one time. Performance points can be seized by the attacker when this unit's weakness is broken. Oh. Okay. So I just gotta the kill these guys. Waiting. Also, I don't have anything they're weak to. So, yeah. Turn it up. More business, eh? Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Need a doctor? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Relax. I can't weakness break these. Things. Never mind. Though. Time for your prescription. I owe you one. This song's for you. I'm not gonna cap. I thought Saval was gonna die there. No, no, we we good. <laughs> That's it. He sure took off quickly. <sighs> 17 rounds of interviews, and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. Let's set off when you're ready. Alright, so if they're weak to physical, ice, and fire, DOT team is not the wave. It is absolutely 100,000% not the wave. Instead, let's do this one and switch out Sampo to Himiko. That's not what I want to do. Make sure you kit it up with the best stuff. Take that. Let's level up your armband thing a little bit. More firepower. Crit rate bonus is very nice. Potent potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I think she was trying a bit too hard with to try and make that uh that like connection to like a mispronunciation. I don't know, bro. Maybe that was the whole point. I, how'd you get Pultitas from, from Topaz? Nice crit rate. Yo. Uh, that wasn't too bad. If I do say so myself. 
58, she gets 15 from her from her trace. So she's about 70 right now. Let's see if we can get a crit damage hit. Yeah, let's see if we can get a crit damage hit on this one. Break effect. Give me just one hit of crit damage. At least one. Defense. New. Dang, bro. That sucks. Uh, Let's level up one more. I do not like that number. Uh, Let's see if we can level up past that. Past that specific number. That number gives me... Um, bad vibes. Come on, crit damage, baby. Come on. Crit damage. You do it one time. For well, the one time, crit damage. I'm so sick and tired of this game, bro. <laughs> I hate this game. I can't stand this game. Oh well. Clara, what you what you rocking? Um. Should be cool. There we go. I use this team. I could one th one hundred thousand percent use Jing Lu here, but uh, you know what? What am I? What am I doing? Jing Jing Lu, all the way. Let's go. We out. You caught your breath yet? It's time. When did you change your clothes? Hey, yo. Right after we finished chatting with Topaz in the museum. <laughs> did it take you that long to notice? I thought you were supposed to be the observant one. Wait a minute, did her clothes really change the and I just didn't notice? IPC, Am I the tripping? We can get back to enjoying the celebrations. Let Zila know when you're ready to go. Am I tripping? Did she really change her clothes right after like did her clothes really change this entire time? That's crazy, dude. Ready for action? It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's, Let's go. get moving. Yeah, let's go. Uh, bringing her along was a good idea because there's guys that are not weak to weak to physical, so that was a good move. Let's run it up. Hello, it's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Uh, hello, Miss. Are you... I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? 
so heartwarming. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the Nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. Okay. This is... Source code, or to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. What? I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. So with a flick of the wrist, they can legit just turn this entire world on, on its shoulders. I assume on their shoulders. you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that Urillo 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. My god. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. Oh my god. She is sinister. She got a real sinister side to her when she's on business time, huh? All the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Oh, what was it again? Numbi, right? What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's keeping one as a pet? The IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Wanna go take a look? Are we about to fight this thing? <laughs> Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numbi saying? Topaz isn't here. Life is ultimately meaningless. What? <laughs> Seriously? You actually speak Trotter? Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Help! Those people dressed in black are attacking! 
Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the Geo Marrow? I really don't know anything. This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards! I guess they want to do this the hard way. All right, let's go. Which one of the mags next? This guy. I can't freeze him. My turn. I have something for you. I can't break you. You won't get away. Bam. This damage. Still don't humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. That'll take more than medicine. Next time. Tedious. I see blue let go. Chop chop. And the lunar flame. Bam. Spawn. You couldn't have done it without me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks like Numby's in a good mood. Uh, but aren't they on the IPC side? Strange. I want to fight that guy. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. Freeze. Told you I could fight. Absolute overkill. And so be it. Oh, it's two waves. Okay. Now let's see if I can get a freeze here. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. <laughs> Told you I could fight. <laughs> you. I have something for you. so short and stubby you're surprisingly nimble well guess that's that we're on our own now let's keep going all right let's go hey you are you in charge around here yeah, I'll look 
The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the... Don't lie to us! You seized the mine by force for yourself. You drove the locals out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again! Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. You know Topaz? Interesting. It doesn't matter. The Strategic Investment Department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this project. In cases where debtors fail to repay within a set time frame, the IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. What exactly is your problem? You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it! Don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think I get to make those kinds of decisions? <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. Didn't you claim the IPC was all-powerful? <laughs> well, now's the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Uh, if I knew things were going to get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <laughs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with violence, prepare yourselves for my heavy labor damage. Yeah, alright, buddy. <laughs> Soon to be departed. Oh, he gave all of them performance points right away. Gotcha. I understand. So which one of these guys attack first? This guy on the right? No, this one. Nice. She got a performance point from that. Let's freeze this guy. Just to freeze the, do some damage to the guys in the middle. Or we could just freeze these three. These two on the side right here. Let's go. In the lunar flame. I am. You won't get away. And she's got two performance points, so this might hurt. This might hurt a decent amount. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Okay, so what does that do? It's work culture shock. Physical damage to all. Okay, gotcha. Time for an overhaul. Does not look like I can break this guy before he does that. Oh, yes, I can. You won't get away. Told you I could fight. Free real estate. I have something for you. Gotta try no. hard stuff. Watch this awesome move. I don't think so. Uh, let's heal you up. That's better. Much of perhaps you still don't. Humanity yeah, never conceals this its desire really. to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Get them breaks. Cool skill, baby. Let's go. My turn. Time for an overhaul. Tedious. I'm gonna use All her ultimate, revealed. even though this is usually a bad idea. I'm gonna use it just to get the freeze on this guy. In lunar flame. 
You won't get away. And get that break so you can go. There we go. That uh, and then put a shield back on you. Draw attention towards her. Basic with you. Let's go. Stand down. I can throw these two on the, on the, right, on the left side. Or at least try to. Wow, that doesn't do as much uh, weakness break to uh, adjacent targets as I thought. That's weird. Learn something new, I guess. Um, hmm. I don't want March dying here. <laughs> Sure, we not gonna do. Awesome you won't get away. I am. I am. I have something for you. Let's heal everybody up. Just Let's give something. her that crit rate bonus. Save it for your now let this rip. Still, humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Naughty child. My turn. This guy ain't that tough. I'm gonna wait till he thaws out, then I'm gonna uh, hit him up again. You won't get away. I am. You can't run. Stand down. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop us? Darn it! I'm all out of ammo! Sir, we've just received word from the director! Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%! 60%? We're done for! Uh, attention all personnel! Evacuate the mine immediately! Erase all traces of your presence! <sighs> so, are we all good here, or what? <sighs> yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Uh, it's a long story. You're better off asking Branya. <sighs> Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? <sighs> the timing couldn't have been any worse. Oh, looks like we've got a message. I failed to persuade. Wait a minute. Where are you? March. Are you alright? Vanyo in Underworld. IPC's people took over the Great Mine. Us and Sile just kicked them out. Don't worry, we totally handle this. Alright, so what huh, happened there? I get the feeling Branya's worried about something. We'd better go back and see her. Are you coming with us, Dila? Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, 
Which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klippoth Fort! <laughs> These guys? Don't look like the By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Wait, what? Oh, so it's that later, so it's that easy that she could just turn the tables on them. It's that easy. Wow. Welcome back. I appreciate your help more than I can express. It couldn't have been easy running all over the city. <laughs> That's what friends are for, Branya. You don't sound like yourself. Is something wrong? Uh, I'm fine. I just... I haven't rested in a while. There's just too much happening all at once. Perhaps, but the IPC won't wait for me to catch up. They're moving quickly. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an order against harassing the citizenry. Still, that hasn't stopped panic from building. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, nor what their intentions are. Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz again? We're curious to know what solution she has in mind. That's the reason I asked for you to come here. I need your advice. Look. Oh, it's a letter? It's... What is it? The contract Topaz sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Please, take a look at the contents. And then tell me your thoughts. Miss Branya, if you'll permit me to call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. In your eyes, the IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy. A place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. Finally, one fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing, that all inhabitants sign a contract which would make them employees of the IPC. Two years after signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared, and people began to take off their masks. After three years, vegetation and trees began to grow and thrive again. After five years, many animals, previously on the brink of extinction, reappeared. When I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. 
I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value, such as survival. How many generations of Belabagians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee that a disaster such as the Stellaron Crisis will not descend upon Belabog yet again? I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, all of Belabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Eurillo 6. I can understand that for you, this is an extremely difficult decision, because you, and you alone, will bear the fate of all Belabagians. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right decision. A decision that will truly benefit your people. Her words do sound quite sincere. What do you make of it? She has a way, she has a way with words. Yes, she is a high ranking member of the IPC after all. She knows how to use words to her advantage. In any case, she wasn't wrong when she said this would be an extremely difficult decision. This planet's fate, the civilization it carries, everything that's happened here and everything that will happen, it all rests in my hands. This definitely can't, and shouldn't, be a decision made by me alone. That thought has crossed my mind, and it comforts me to hear you say that. Right. I don't think it's fair for you to carry the weight alone. Why not discuss it with others first? Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide as soon as possible. I wanted to put it to a vote and let all the citizens of both the overworld and the underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. I'll convene the Klopoth Fort Architects immediately to discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. Well, the people of Bellabog considering what the IPC has been regard, doing since they came here, they're going to have a very uh, be willing to tell you negative their perception of the matter. I think we should leave this matter to the Bellabogians. Don't you agree? We've got your back. We failed to convince Topaz, but this should be a piece of cake. Thank you, March. I'll assemble the ministers. Let's meet up here again later. All right. Uh, if we want to make an informed decision, we need to hear from both the Overworld and the Underworld, right? Let's start with the Overworld. Okay, so right off the bat, there's going to be... Uh, hearing the uh, individuals that agree with the IPC's proposal is going to be very interesting because, like, the IPC made such a negative... Pers like a negative first impression upon Bellabog without even so much as like it's like an introduction like like Jesus Christ I, I legit don't blame anyone for having a negative opinion of the IPC because of how blatantly how, how much of a bad first impression they had with Bellabog after their crisis like I'm very interested in hearing the arguments of Bellabogians that agree with the IPC at this point, because my god. We meet again! Uh-oh. That look on your face tells me something's wrong. 
I hope it's nothing too serious. Sounds serious. Really? You better not be making things up. I wish it were made up. Unfortunately, it's all true. We don't have much time, Pela. Branya wants to get everyone's opinion. Wait, you're telling me I have to make this huge decision on the spot? At least give me a few seconds to think it over. <sighs> okay, I think I've got it. If it were up to me, I'd probably agree to the IPC's conditions. Okay. Huh. Okay. Any particular reason? I've looked at some of the climate reports, and based on the data I've seen, it'll take three or four more generations for the snow to completely subside. And that's assuming no other disasters occur. I care more about those in the present than a future I can't be sure of. If the IPC is able to bring about immediate change, then I think that's a price well worth paying. Building a better world for future generations sounds great, right? But is it any fun for the engineers and architects who are directly involved in such a pursuit? I see. So compared to a distant and uncertain future, what you really care about is making sure the people around you have a good life. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Okay. That's a fair argument in support. In support of the IPC. Well, well, look who we have here! You and Marge paying us a visit. What's the occasion? Uh-oh. Sounds like something serious is happening. You'd better fill me in. What? How is that possible? I need a moment to wrap my head around this. Serval, we're racing against the clock. No time for head wrapping. Uh, it's okay. I've thought it through. If it were up to me, I'd sign the contract. What? Hold on, are you serious? I thought you'd be against it for sure! Surprised? My reasons are pretty simple. Signing this contract would mean we no longer have to worry about surviving. For most of the residents here, especially those in the underworld, that would be more than enough to persuade them. As for working for the company, <laughs> people need to work no matter where they are, right? If the IPC tries to take too many liberties, we can always rise up against them. You know, I've always longed for the stars since I was a child, which is why I devoted myself to science and the studying of the Stellaron. If someone told me that I could do whatever research I wanted with only a small price to pay, I probably wouldn't hesitate. I see. I suppose that makes sense. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Okay, that's two support arg arguments. And where's that third one? So... This isn't like a multiple option type of thing, like the beginning of the of the quest, right? There aren't like hidden like uh, NPCs I could talk to about this. Because there's just the one over here. And I'm willing to bet it's Japard. Oh, it's this guy. Hey yo, where'd your part at, bro? Is that the Trailblazers? It's been a while. I didn't think you'd be back in Bellabox so soon. It's been pretty hectic in the city lately. All these people dressed in black suddenly showed up, and even the Silvermane Guards have had trouble dealing with them. 
Do you need my opinion? So that's who they are. Uh, it's worse than I imagined. The Madam Guardian must be under a lot of pressure. Is there really nothing we can do to assist her? We are here to gather everyone's opinion on the matter. I know this is a little sudden, but we're running out of time. What's your take? Why, I'd refuse the contract, of course. There is no room for compromise. Just look at them. Arrogant, stomping around here as if they own the place. How can such people be trusted? Who's to say they won't breach the contract? Faced with this sort of coercion, we must resist them with all our might. Surrendering is not an option. You must warn the Madam Guardian not to allow herself to fall into their trap. A soldier's perspective is always valuable, Dunn. Thanks for your input. Alright, that's three. And one that's not in support. Uh, did we miss anyone in the overworld? I think we asked just about everyone we needed to. From what I've gathered, it seems like most people in the overworld are leaning towards signing the IPC's contract. <sighs> We'd better hurry to the underworld and see what Natasha and Zila make of it all. Alright, let go. I wonder if Chapard's still down here, and then he'll be the third person we talk to. After fighting with the mechs that she sent, that Topaz sent after him, I'm pretty sure his opinion's gonna be no. Like a hard no. <laughs> what brings you two to the underworld? And why the long face? Seems a little out of the blue, but since you came all this way, it must be urgent. Go ahead. I think Natasha might be in support of it. That is a lot of information to take in. Sorry, both of you. I, I know you're in a hurry, but I need a moment to think. No stress, Nat. Just tell us what you really think. <sighs> I've thought about it, and... Well, if I were Branya, I wouldn't sign it. Oh, she's not in support of it. I won't deny the offer on the table is a very tempting one. And if we refuse, Bellabog will not only have the burden of a huge debt, we may also incite the wrath of a very powerful force. But even so, a quote I read back in school came to me just now. Those who are willing to give up freedom for security will end up with neither. Living in the underworld has taught me that this phrase is true. I'd rather trek through the frigid snow plains than live in a beautiful cage. Wow, that's a pretty convincing argument. Another vote for the against pile. Thanks for your insight, Nat. All right. <laughs> None other than the saviors of Bellabog. To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> but I can tell by the look on your faces, you're probably not dropping by to say hi. Let me guess. Something to do with these unruly people in black showing up everywhere? Well, ask away. It just so happens I'm curious about them myself. I see. That's a tricky situation, all right. A lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone as young as Lady Branya. Mr. Oleg, out of all the people we know in Bellabog, you have the most life experience. What do you think we should do? I feel like he's going to be in support of it because he'd be concerned for the future generations of Bellabog and how long it take for them to like reclaim the land that it was lost and like all the tragedies that they'd suffer uh, in the meantime. Like he he have a similar uh, an opinion similar to, similar to like Pila, I th I feel. Want to hear the truth? I'm afraid great ambitions and lofty plans no longer hold much appeal for an old timer like me. If this IPC does indeed possess the magical power to restore Bellabog back to its former self overnight, then I think the answer is clear. Have you considered the opposite? What about if we refuse? 
The reconstruction okay. plan already sounds like an endless endeavor. And with the added burden of a massive debt, well, is that something we can manage on our own? What worries me the most is how Lady Branya will handle the backlash from her people. Will she be able to withstand the criticism? Is she prepared to carry the weight of a tarnished reputation for years to come? Huh. I guess I never looked at it from that angle. I wouldn't wish that title on anyone. Thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Oleg. Another vote for the four pile. All right. And now the last one. Yeah, prob this is probably going to be Chapard, right? Or this is Farag. Well, Sparag is like a logical robot, so he'd probably be in the four situation, like the four side. Oh, it's Clara. Miss March, big sister, what brings you to the underworld? Hey there, Clara. Uh, is Sparag not around? Mr. Sparag went out for a walk with a lady called Topaz. What? Topaz? Do you know where they went? Uh, I'm not sure. But Mr. Sparrow promised he'd be back soon. Uh, what now? Sparrow looks super logical. We should definitely get his opinion. True. Don Hung's always saying that Clara's really insightful for her age. Huh? Miss March, do you want to ask me something? Hmm. Oh, uh, that's complicated. I don't know what to say. It's all right, Clara. No pressure. Just tell us how you feel about it. Hmm. I... I think if we have a choice for the future, it should be everyone's decision. Because when I was playing with Hook, the moles, and the other kids, we talked about our dreams. Everyone has different dreams. If we accept Miss Topaz's offer, then doesn't that mean our dreams will never come true? Just taking away people's dreams like that. I don't know. It feels wrong. You're right. Children see the world as a place where anything is possible. Oh, just the thought of our lives being predestined from birth makes me shiver. Thanks, I hate that that mindset as well to too. Us. By taking the offer, so many people's lives would <sighs> be predetermined for All them. That They'd have no say in the matter, out. just like Topaz, to be honest. So the final conclusion is the votes are completely even. Uh, I don't know what to do. Both sides have really compelling arguments. All right. We have an Asdila. She's probably still in the Great Mine helping the miners. Come on, let's get going. All right, let's go. And I think this is when we're going to run into to, uh, Japard, right? Wow, still no. Well, I think I have a feeling what her Back answer is going to be. Any news? Are you feeling all right? You look a little uneasy. <sighs> Important matter, huh? I can tell from your tone that this isn't going to be a lighthearted chat. But I'm ready to hear it. <sighs> I... I think I get it. At first, I thought it was just a few IPC ruffians overstepping their boundaries. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? Right. I... I need a little time to process this. As it stands, the votes are even. Your opinion will make all the difference. In that case... I... I abstain. What? Vote is extremely important. I thought about it. 
this responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders, not mine. No matter the choice she makes, she has far greater foresight than I do. She can see the bigger picture more clearly than I can. The vote is tied. If I were to give you my view, it would tip the scales and possibly impact her final choice. I'll respect whatever decision she makes, but it's not my place to make it for her. Understood, Zila. This is a difficult decision to make, and everyone feels differently about it. It's times like these that a leader must stand up and do what's needed. Right. It's Branya's decision. She knows what's at stake. She won't run away from her duty. I trust her wholeheartedly. If she asks you, just let her know my reasoning. She'll understand. Okay. Well, Oof. there's really is Brownie's no right answer. Huh? Now. She has Both sides have like call. a strong opinion. You bet. The Express can vouch for Branya. That says a lot about her character. Ugh, the time has come. Let's go fill her in. Oh boy. Where'd you part it though? Wanna go take some pictures? many people here before oh boy what jeez i can barely even hear myself think we're doomed we're doomed <laughs> public reps have filed a petition oh my lord what are we supposed to do how could you possibly Yep, seems about right for such a chaotic and messed up decision to make. March, you're back. So, what's the verdict? What do the people think? We talked to people in both the overworld and the underworld. The final result was a tie. Uh, I see. I suppose everyone has their own way of seeing things. I can't say I'm surprised. What was Zila's perspective on the matter? Oh my god. She's behind you, whatever you decide. I should have known. That sounds like Zila, all right. Did you come to a conclusion with the ministers? Oh, it's so loud I can't tell what anyone's saying. It's pretty much the same situation here. Neither party is willing to compromise. The time has come to make a decision. This chaos cannot be allowed to continue any longer. All of you! I know what to do. Something to say to the Supreme Guardian. Imiko with the clutch, yo, what's up? Uh, but uh, aren't you? Uh, Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Miss Himeko from the Astral Express? I. It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite exceptional. I understand, Miss Branya. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. 
My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. Do you have a solution, Himiko? I hesitate to call it a solution, but I might have some information that might help. It is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as the Supreme Guardian to make a wise and informed decision. Information? Please, tell me what you know, Miss Himako. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. You mean... Performing yep. ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. And of course, she left that information Only 63 out. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. She's undoubtedly one of the most capable people in her field. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himiko. This information is of great help. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. Now that you've decided, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. Hey! Astro friends, I have an idea, but for it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city. And then, I'll meet with Topaz again. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. And I wonder bet Svarog's gonna be siding with her. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. Stay safe, everyone. Group chat with Barney at Hey yo, so what's up with Japard, bro? We could talk here, Japard, and share your reports with the crew. Did you have a fight? Yo, you alright, bro? Time to stop the IPC. The defense went smoothly at first, but then the past herself appeared with some special technology that allowed her to seize control of all of our automatas in an instant. In an instant. Yep. All right, let's go find her. Chapard should be waiting for us in Rivet Town, right? Here we go again. Let go. We gotta fight Svarag you go again. Take some pictures. I assume. The Supreme Guardian has briefed me on the situation and asked that I assist you in locating Topaz. Ready to enter Rivet Town? We'll go in together when everyone is set. Keep your guards up. We might run into IPC agents ahead. All right.
Do I want to change things up? Do I feel like changing things up? I don't feel like changing things up. Let's go. Destination reached. Wow, would you look at that. Huh. I never would have guessed it'd be here. But I don't see any mech or weapons. This place is completely surrounded by mountains. Surely they, they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. No wonder we couldn't find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Wait a minute. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means the architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. The architects used the IPC blueprints to construct replica automatons. However, the overwhelming majority of the combatants, commanded by Elisa Rand, were human. Oh, wow. I see. The stories about this world are truly captivating. I would like to ask you a question, Topaz. <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? <sighs> yes. I've gone through countless case studies, and they all point to the same conclusion. Any world that comes into contact with a Stellaron is doomed. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand. But sooner or later, the underlying problems will resurface. A looming crisis can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity, unnoticed by many. Understood. Understood. That's it? You don't have any thoughts on the matter? Emotional readings indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is all I wish to confirm regarding this matter. While my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours, it ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool, not a decision maker. <laughs> if only my colleagues had the same self-awareness as you. Come on, Numbi. We've got some assessing to do. Topaz disappeared after leaving Rivet Town. In her absence, her subordinates flooded in and took over. The IPC soldiers are well equipped. It wouldn't be wise to fight them head on. Captain, what do you have in mind? You're right, Miss Himiko. We'll be using the automaton stealth bomb to cover our tracks. Automaton stealth bomb? I'll explain later. Let's get moving. All right, let's go. This guy gonna run in and blow up, draw their attention, I assume. Look, down there, it's the IPC. Keep noise to a minimum, everyone. We don't want to alert the enemy to our presence. It's time to deploy the automaton stealth bomb. Are you ready? Remember, try to avoid being noticed. Controlling this stealth bomb.
It's a shame we had to resort to this method, but we had no choice. Oh, you Silvermane guards sure are a righteous bunch. I've seen standard issue robots like these before. It's an IPC field team leader. Correct. The exterior is similar to the Grizzly, but its weapons and armor are more advanced. Hopefully, the automaton stealth bomb will still be effective. All right, let go. Are you ready? Remember. I didn't think it would be so powerful. Good thing everything went according to plan. This is the road that Topaz took when she left Rivet Town. Let's find her. Ah, this time, the gloves are off! Alright, let's do it. Oh, so this is the, uh, the new area. Cool. Svarag? Buddy, we better not be fighting again. Mr. Sparog? Are you alright? I hope Topaz and her IPC henchmen didn't hurt you. Greetings, outsiders. System functions are normal. I have had no conflict with the IPC's representatives. That's a straight up lie. Such a result would be highly undesirable. Topaz is ahead. She had the means to force me to comply with her orders, but chose not to. From her perspective, the only way to preserve Bellabod is by incorporating it into the IPC. While I do not agree with her viewpoint, I lack the computational power to provide evidence to the contrary. While it is unlikely, I still encourage the avoidance of any potential conflicts. Unlikely potential? Meaning there could still be conflicts. Don't worry, March. The Express never pursues conflict as a first means. But if it comes down to it, we won't back down either. Himeko's right. As long as we can look at ourselves in the mirror and know we did the right thing, that's all that matters. All right, let's go. Why would Topaz come here? Is she looking for something? It's possible. Many mysteries lurk beneath the surface of this world. <laughs> oh god, we, we about to fight. Oh, hey there, Slowpokes. I was starting to think you weren't going to show up. Hmm. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. <laughs> Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Of course, the Nameless have quite the reputation. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akavili, after all. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I presume you have a good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors. But we have very dear friends on Urillo 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract, 
goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting, but this doesn't sound like a negotiation. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision ten minutes ago. <laughs> There's no fooling the Astral Express. You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. However, to keep things moving forward, there's usually only one solution. Uh-huh. What do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. You're very curious about my work, aren't you? So okay. many eager faces. I won't keep you in the dark any longer. Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. All right, let's go. The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the table. Go, Numbi. Projects under my wing have no room for error. All right, let's go. <laughs> Tedious. Desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Big boy, let's go. Try harder. Can't run. Nowhere to run. All will be revealed. Again. In lunar flame. I Tough luck running into me. Square down that shield a little bit. Seems its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Get that break, get that damage base, the goal. Definitely not gonna be able to break him, so let's just not even try. All will be revealed. Can't break him, so don't even try. Let's go. Let's just get the damage. 
You won't get away. I am. Time for a shot. <laughs> Luck running into me. Let's shield up you. <laughs> Draw the fire towards you. Time for an over. <laughs> Let's do this damage. Still Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Try that again. Gotta try yeah, I don't sometimes. think so. Watch this awesome move. Ready for death. Yeah, I can break three of these guys. You won't get away. <laughs> That'll take me. Just a little Chop, chop. Lu is disgusting for this. Oh my <laughs> lord. This would be enough to get March to full if I give somebody a shield. Yeah, I need to give her a shield. Anyway. Whatever. I have something for you. Yeah, she's, oh, I think this will do it. Let's go. Can see as its desire to control the heavens, and I know it's done. Astral Express is so highly regarded. Finished warming up? Now it's my turn. Stop! All of you, put down your weapons! Uh, Branya! Oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian? I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the Express crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> That would hardly be becoming of you. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. Uh, more important than this? Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Hmm. That's... Interesting. I was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz. And your childhood experiences truly touched me. Your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yarillo 6. So I can understand your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, I hope we can still find common ground through peaceful means. I have to admit, talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. It, it was uh, inappropriate. I admire your determination, seeing as we've come uh, this far. I've changed my mind. I'll hold off a little longer and see what you have to show me. But remember, winning over the higher-ups won't be easy. I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step at a time. The first step was changing your mind. Members of the Express, we'll need your help too. All right. What a dismal sight. This district. Have you been here before? Yes. This is where we put an end to it all. And then began again. That's right. Sorry for the delay. 
Are we clear to proceed? The path ahead is clear, Madam Guardian. You and your companions can proceed north without hindrance. Excellent. The mountain road ahead is a little treacherous. Watch your step. Let's go. What is this place? We've never been here before, right? Yeah, this is new. <laughs> We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. What I want to show you is just ahead. Ooh, chest. Give me that. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? Sure do. I thought you might. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Balabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion, and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But... Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. Mm. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory after driving away all those who threatened it. Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations of Alabogians. Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. I, not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Uh, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Bellabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. <sighs> I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But 
Your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Unless what? Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. That might just work. As for the uh, reports and potential accountability, <sighs> I'll handle it. So, is that it? Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. <sighs> Don't worry, it's, it's nothing I can't handle. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. Will they cut your pay? If that's what they want to do, then so be it. I've long passed the stage of working just for money. Thank you so much for all you've done. I never thought we'd drag the Express into a crisis again. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. A rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. Is it true the IPC requires you to go through 17 rounds of interviews? 17? Oh, I think I might know who you're talking about. Uh, you could say he's a um, special case. For most people, the interview process is much shorter. Dang, he trash for real. <laughs> well, we're able to discuss some lighter topics. Well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. I have arranged rooms for you all at the Goethe Hotel. Miss Topaz, if you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. Yeah, I sure hope so. Oh yeah, let me get this, uh... Thing. There we go. Space anchor. There we go. Alright, so we got two new areas to explore through. Corridor of Fading Echoes. Yeah, so this is a whopping two new areas to explore, right? You know, <laughs> I'd heard you and March speak highly of the Supreme Guardian before, but seeing her methods firsthand left me in awe. We should also be glad that Miss Topaz is the one in charge of the Urillo 6 project. If it were someone else from the Strategic Investment Department, things might have gotten complicated. That tells me you really don't understand the Strategic Investment Department. <laughs> Let's talk about this later, when you're back on the Express. You and March must be tired after such an incredible journey. It's time you got some well-deserved rest. Alright, cool. <sighs> I was worried things were gonna get ugly again. A peaceful solution is always the best solution. Uh, speaking of solutions, are they repairing that giant robot? The one we fought against? I remember you took control of it and helped us defeat Kakolia. Miss Topaz is definitely up to the job. She has that aura of... Oh, what's the word? Invincibility. Well, 
We didn't get to enjoy the festivities this time around. But at least we still got to meet a top IPC executive. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this dude putting in work. Uh, let's see. Anywhere else we can go? Doesn't seem like it, but hey, there's a chest, so that's it's all it's all well and dandy. I imagine we have to wait until later to go this way. Gotcha. That's alright, so until then. Let's go to this. Hotel and chill. All right, cool, 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 cool. Wanna go take some pictures? I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> well, you know, keeping an eye on the crew is just another part of a navigator's job. It's time to sleep. I'm out. March was looking forward to the Soul Warm Festival for ages. Looks like she's missed her chance. This time. I never thought this trip would be so... <sighs> tiring. Time for bed. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. Oh, cool. Yo, Gar <laughs> Gardevoir, what's up, dude? Oh, you only got demoted one rank? Phew, you dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Who's this? Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Oh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Adventurine, why are you still on the line? Adventurine? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. I guess I am now. <laughs> My apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother? In our line of work, having a kind heart can be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead-end road. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't hang up. I, I feel get bad it. For Topaz. You're not in the mood for this conversation. I feel right bad now. a little bit. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. A Terravan? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the marketing development department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo won't be laughing anymore. Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <laughs> 
Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with others? Panacone. What else? What? Panacone? <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or uh, Obsidian to handle it. At least someone higher than rank P46. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. Consider it. You never know, you might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo 6. Uh, I'll get back to you later. <sighs> Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. I hope I made the right decision this time. Oh, it's not extinct after all. <laughs> this now is mesmerizing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Wilder, who's this? Hello, who are you? Give me the deets. A video game. Okay, so it's Ethereum Wars, okay. Alright, cool. Yo, Kimmy, what's up? Hey Jabari, how'd you like the quest? Yo, this quest was awesome, bro. It it really um Oh my god, new player, da da da. Alright, Ethereum Wars. So we finally got it. This stream lasted a whopping three hours, but we finally got access to Ethereum Wars. Holy crap, this quest was a was a beefy one. But it was a good one, bro. I, I really like this quest a lot. Um, I like how it um, it was more on the morally gray side this this go around. It put it put Topaz in like a unique position where you had to like view her character from like both sides of the situation. How uh, it it really gave a more like sympathetic side to the uh, opposing ideal, even if it wasn't the one that we didn't go with in the end. Uh. It was like deciding uh, whether to sell Bellabog's uh, potential future for guaranteed survival now. And it's like, you know, that was, it, was, it was such a, it was such like a strong, like, uh, a way to like get the uh, characters, like, um, opinions on, on like, uh, Bellabog's, like, uh, development, I guess. 
So we had like Pila and I think it was so Soval who agreed with the IPC. And then it was uh, the other characters who, who disagreed with the IPC. And then Branya actually decided to go against the IPC in the end. That one legit shocked me. Uh, but it seems like it's just gonna... It'll be for the best, since it's what the vast majority of the Alabagian citizens uh, want in the end, I guess. But overall, I think this quest was really good. Got two new areas, got introduced to Topaz. Uh... <coughs> Calm down, Jinglu. Put that put that bandage back on. But yeah, this quest was fire, bro. I like it a lot. I think it's one of the better uh, quests that I played in a uh, Honkai Star Rail. Like real talk. But uh, damn, this stream really has been going on for three three and a half hours. I didn't think it'd take this long just to get access to this thing. Jesus Christ. Hold up. I'm gonna have to uh let's see. I've been doing well. Yeah, it was a nice it was nice to see Bubba get more views of the IPC. So Vala Green was a shock to me. Yeah, it was a shock to me too. I was also uh Who else was I shocked that agreed? That that, that actually like disagreed. Um, I think it was Natasha. I was shocked that Natasha disagreed because you know she's like a she's basically like the uh, head of like the main like hospital down in the underworld. I thought she wanted to prioritize you know uh, the guaranteed safety of like Bellabog's future, quote unquote. But it's like no, just can't just let the children. You can't decide the children's future for them, you know? And that was honestly the tipping point for me as well. Um, because, you see, what makes uh, Bellabog's decision, like the world of Bellabog's decision, and con so well contrasted with uh, Topaz's world's um, decision, is that, you know, Bellabog still has the freedom to the choice to survive or fail on their own terms. Topaz's world didn't have that choice, which is why the uh, IPC was able to convince them so easily. Which is why from Topaz's perspective, uh, it just felt like Bellabog should have made the same choice as her world did. But in a weird way, it also seems like Topaz herself had, and this is the part of me that feels bad for Topaz. She, it's because of that decision and the, the fallout of that decision, for better or worse. It feels like Topaz ha isn't even able to understand that she basically had her future determined for her by the IPC. Like, she's basically working for them, like, 24-7, honestly. She has, like, no freedom. Like, after this, like, decision where, like, the Bellabog uh, decided to fight for on its own terms and just pay off the debt, it's like the head honchos above her just ripped her a new one. I mean, it could have been worse, but she got demoted, got her salary cut. My god. I don't know. I don't know if I'm putting it into right words, but uh, into the right words, but like, it really makes me wonder how much freedom. Uh, yeah, there was also like that that theming of like freedom over like over um uh safety, I guess. And it really just makes me put in. It really makes me wonder just how much freedom Topaz has in her life in exchange for the guaranteed safety of being part of the IPC, if that makes any sense. Like, does she have to sell her freedom just to survive? It's kind of crazy. But, yeah, regardless, this is a pretty good quest, dude. I really liked it a lot. Um, 
So here's the thing, guys. I was going to play through this event right here and, you know, like tonight to get through like the rewards because I really want this self-modeling resin. But that quest took a long time, like a really, really long time. And I'm happy I played through it, but man, now, now I'm kind of tired. So here's what I'll do. If I'm, if I'm willing to... If nothing comes up that's like out of the blue... I'll see if I can stream tonight. I got some personal things coming up over the weekend, like on Friday or something like that. So I might not be able to stream on Friday. Maybe the uh, the weekend after that. Maybe like the uh, Saturday or Sunday after that Friday. But I don't know. But I'll see if I can stream tomorrow and get through this event. The event is very long. Best to pace yourself. Hey, thanks for the heads up, bro. Oh boy. If it's anything like the, um, like the museum event, and, um, and that event that was in Xiang Show, oh boy. I am in for, for the, for a long haul. Dear God. But hopefully the long haul is actually fun, you know? But until then, I think I'm just gonna end the stream off here. But I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content and enjoyed the live stream, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, keep an eye out for any for my future streams. Make sure to hit that bell notification. And once again, because I know I don't think anybody was in the uh, live stream when I said this, thank you guys so, so much for getting me to 1,000 subscribers, dude. I really really appreciate it i am so thankful but honestly i'm really like i'm so ecstatic right now i'm so like shaking from actually hitting that uh that milestone i really appreciate your guys support danger jinglu you need to chill <laughs> uh but anyways uh i'll talk to you guys later uh next live stream next video whatever it may be but until